Thank you, ladies. See you all tonight. And make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank okay. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. So, you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I, uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, I did. But your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot, left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. You get it? Uh... Kind of? <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. I guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? <clears throat> that story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. But before
before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Hmm. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo police. And the last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted. And sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when... He hung himself from prison. Where was Hori no Uchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher ups. Rats leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, and next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa- Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh, oh, shit. That's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. <coughs> I didn't save it yet. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, <laughs> honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. They let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already. Wow. <coughs> wow. Hmm? <laughs> Let's 
suck. Damn. Listen. Tired of this shit. Freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Hmm. No one else see well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Okay. I got this. Let's go. Get serious. Nice, baby. <sighs> I'm awake. Fucking hell. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? For real, though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transform! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. 
You know, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. Makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight, <laughs> maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers, our great journey has begun. Well, then. Yeah. Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, meta medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Okay. Let's 
gotta do something about this. Victory! That's your stats going up! <laughs> いらっしゃいませ。いらっしゃいませ。いらっしゃいませ。いいね。Who's hungry? Me. Me. Tasty. Thank you very much. Hey, boy. Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. You're <laughs> not a loser. Come on, yeah. Come on, get the cooker. Come on. Let's go. Okay. What's this? What was his problem? I swear. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. 
Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. How? Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when no. you go that way. <laughs> Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. And I but what made you decide to do boy. this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Yeah. Oh, Come bye. on. Hear me out for a minute. Uh, what? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? Nah, so thinking, nah, bam. Nah, bam, we're good. data while you're at it? We are good. Perhaps, but a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How no. about I throw no. in some completion rewards? Oh, no. now I see those E's. No, we're not doing it. Hear no. that? Sujimon? Nope. nope. Yes, no. I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Oh Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the work. As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. <sighs> hey! Time to earn your keep! Who are these goons? 
Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Well, uh, not sure where you're going with this, but... Well, let's go with red. Okay, then. Red it is. All right, you two, give red here some backup. Oh, now, yeah. okay. give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Huh. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time right. you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, huh. I choose you! Get ready for this a Suji Dex battle! Man. Power game one. Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. No, up and you'll be the best. But we no good. one ever was. That's we good. kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujiman, collect lots of data. And yeah, as promised, boy. I'll reward you for the job. Money. Expect to get you some emails money. as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. So you yeah, gotta dispatch boy. them all. Then all you'll the be the Sujiman. next Sujiman master. Sujiman weak guy. Yeah, boy. Huh? 
as i was